Welcome to the Wells. Here at the Wells, we have a segment we like to call The Chair. The Chair is the place where people come to discuss the latest topics or even what's trending. So, uh, welcome today. Your name is? Jessica. And where are you from, Jessica? I am born in Philly, raised in Jersey. Now I live in Miami. Wow, you traveled a lot. Yes. Um, and in Miami, how do you like Miami? I love it. I'm not coming mm -hmm. back to Jersey. Not coming back to Jersey. No. That's the place you're going to be at? Yes. Okay. Um, and then, so we're going to go into our first question. Today's topic was a topic that was trending and we were talking about, and the topic is women in social media. What, um, what are your views on women in social media? What are, some, what are some, some of the things you see within women in social media? Well, nowadays, in social media especially, everyone's the same. I feel like women all want to be on there to show their bodies or portray themselves to be these perfect women, no breakouts, beautiful bodies. Everyone's been in the gym seven days a week, and it's all artificial in my opinion. And that's kind of true. Uh, social media does show Nothing most the yeah, most time it shows people in their best lights. Yes. It doesn't show like I said, it doesn't show the, the uh, negative parts about it. Okay. Um, and then you talked about, you know, so for you, what is social media for you? For me, at one point it was for showing again, it is to show the best part of you. So it's still that way for me. Um, but for me, I don't show my family as much because I feel like people don't really care about that as much. So I show only fun things about things that are going on in my life, me traveling, me at the beach, good things like that. But I tend to steer away from showing my body as much because with doing that, all I see is DMs or from just random guys, which will just say anything to you. Um, I remember I had a video with Rick Ross when I was in his section, someone posted on there, can you curse? Mm -hmm. um, posted on there like, oh, I know, he's he's f***ing you. Mm. And then from there, you would see he liked all my other photos, but just came randomly. And then from there, DM me, how you doing this? But he took the time to say, oh, I know he's f***ing you. Wow. But that's not okay. So from there, like, I don't feel comfortable sometimes. I'm going to show my body because that's my body. It's real. It's me. But I'm not going to emphasize on just that part of me because gotcha. of that reason. Gotcha. So I, I, it would seem that you are almost being harassed online at certain points. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say all the time because there are a lot of guys that DM me. Like for now, for, for example, if you don't follow a person and a person DMs you, there's a certain spot in your DMs that holds those messages that you can either review or just leave. I just leave them there. And over time, they'll delete. But my boyfriend, he sees it. There are numerous guys that will DM me, hello, you look beautiful today. Hello, what's your number? What's your Snapchat? What can I get to meet you? Or And even if you tell a person you have a man, a husband, whatever, they don't care. They'll still message you. Is this um, like Facebook, Instagram, which one? I'm here more towards Instagram because I really don't use Facebook. Snapchat I have, but I don't really use as much but Instagram is the devil and that's a majority of everything goes down is Instagram for sure. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. How about how about your friends? Are your friends um do they share your views as far as, you know, you want to be more modest on there. You share your life but it's not about sharing your body. Um it's more about you. I would say a good deal of my friends, but I do also have friends that that's their that's what they want. They want to be seen more for their body, their looks. I have friends that are beautiful, and I know, for example, one of my girlfriends, she was um, offered for her to just show off lingerie that a company is willing to send out to her so they can help, she can help promote their lingerie, which she'll also get money for it, for it. So she wants to do those type of things. And because of that, she also gets the backside of it, of men harassing her, everything. But again, I don't know if she doesn't, she may like that. So it all depends on the person. Um, but like I said, I post funny things or like, not necessarily funny things, but like 
fun things about my life. I don't do the real personal things, the family, my man, all that stuff I kind of leave outside of my social media. So no one can really say that they know me based upon my social media page. So it's very interesting. You say you post fun things about your life, but you leave out, like, you say your man and things like that. My family. Nature. Yeah, you leave those things out. I mean, not purposely, but it's just like I don't need anyone to ever want to be in my business. Got you. Yeah. Or is it a way of being private and keeping it yourself is. on the market? No. <laughs> <laughs> because, again, if someone asks, well, people ask all the time, but if, you know, someone's persistent, then I will say, yes, I have someone. I, I don't hide them, but, I, again, I don't post them as much either. Got you. Has Instagram calls ever caused any problems in your personal life? Um, it has. Okay. And how, in what ways? I would say not so much myself, but more so him. Okay. And his profile, his Instagram, um, because same thing, he doesn't post me as much, so gotcha. he would get the DMs, and so there's, there's a difference. You can get the DMs, you can get the messages from different men or whoever, but it's all going to be contingent on how you respond to it. So gotcha. if you're entertaining those messages, that's where it becomes a problem, and we've experienced that problem in the past. How about social media and work? Like, cause you, I know uh, you have to watch what you post for your job as well. Cause you can post some of the things that could get you up out of there. How about you with work? Um, you know, I work in corporate America, mm -hmm. um, working for a pretty big business. So I, I feel for me, my photos are like in between, but not to the point I don't think where it's like affecting my work, my work. Okay. Uh, plus anything, I feel like not necessarily a night and day for me, but I know how to turn on at work. So anything I do outside of work should be my business Absolutely. Um, and shouldn't interfere. So I, I don't let it interfere. But does it play in your mind at all when you uh, post things like, ah, maybe because of work, I'm not going to post certain things. Yes. And that's why for, even though my page is um, locked, I have, if I see someone try to follow me that I work with, I don't follow, like, follow. yes, I don't follow them. Gotcha. They don't need to be on my page if we're not friends outside of work. Absolutely, absolutely. Just to sum up what you talk about in social media, relationships, work, uh, personal life, social, public. Yeah, I for sure think that people need to take a break from social media from time to time. Absolutely. Social media is really, like, overtaking everything from our lives. It's like... I know people that will wake up and the first thing that they go to is their phone to check Instagram. And that's the problem. So I think people should take at least a break from it from a month. I know people that do at least a month at a time taking a break. I think you need a cleanse completely from social media. Um, other than that, I feel like people should be themselves. And also I feel like people should be respectful to their significant other when they're on social media. Social media, they need to remember that if they have someone so certain things that they do they need to think about that in the back of their minds as well yeah uh, thank you there's some liberal messages left there at the end but um uh we want to thank you out welcome you to the chair thank you for spending thank the time you. with us and um hit that like button subscribe and do all those type of things